congratulations on the victory. Can you talk about the confidence of the team right now? How confident everybody is feeling? Well, we've had a couple of losses, but uh, we're focusing game by game, communicating well, and I think we're, we're happy with our communication. In terms of the playoffs, are you even starting to think about the playoffs, or do you just, I think not, but <laughs> is it hard to, to not focus on the playoffs yet, right now, or do you just try to keep your focus on one game? Uh, if we start playing, uh, uh, thinking about the playoffs, is get a little bit panicked, a little more nervous. So right now we're just focusing one game at a time, game by game. What have you liked about your team's performance? Obviously the wins are nice, but is there other things about the team that you were liking in terms of the way they're acting on the ice, the way they're throwing the rock? Uh, basically, just there's a lot of team talk, um, things like the changes in the ice, changes in the weight, everybody's noticing, everybody's watching, everyone's communicating that very well. There's that, and everybody's smiling, and that really helps. <laughs> Can you talk about your coach, JD? He's, I've known him since he was a child. Um, uh, yes, yes. Um, what has he done for the team and, and curling in Japan? Okay, uh, so JD's just started coaching this team since uh, this season. Uh, and he's really helped us focus on communication and the kind of preparation before coming to the event, the things uh, besides just the technical part of curling, and that's been, I think, the biggest difference. And, uh, yeah, I think, wow, this is Canadian coaching. <laughs> you guys just seem unbeatable out there. What's going on? Yeah, we're having a good run just now. We're playing really consistently and um, throwing it all, we're all throwing it well. We've put in a lot of practice in the run-up to the world. So yeah, we're pretty happy with how we're going, but we've got we've got a lot of tough games still to come. Um, pretty much we're playing everybody at the top of the board with us. So um, we've still got a lot of work to do until the playoffs. It's fun to play this game with confidence, isn't it? I mean, it just seems like no shot is... Uh, is is not makeable and and even you walk on the ice feeling like you're points ahead already sometimes yeah the ice is the ice is great so you can you can believe that every shot that eve gives us is going to come off and if you if you start to think about things too much that's when that's when things go wrong so uh, we just concentrate one shot at a time and not get too too ahead of ourselves you've seen eve play a lot of games over the years do you see anything different in in just her approach her focus this time around or is it the same old eve that we're used to that just uh, Saves our best for when we get closer to the weekend. Yeah, I think I think we're 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 a huge championship team. We love we love playing in championship ice, championship teams um, in Canada as well. It's great. Um, but yeah, I think we've got a lot of drive and we've got a bit of unfinished business to do out here. So we've, we'll do anything that we can do to to get that finished. And this is a team that loves the bright lights, right? And the, being the lone game on the ice and uh, having everybody's eyes on you, you thrive under those circumstances. Yeah, you really do. Like you, you almost kind of get lost in it. You don't, you don't really feel that there's lots of people around about you, and you just you concentrate on what you're doing. But no, it's great to have a huge audience, especially the audience here that are so knowledgeable and they cheer for good shots from both teams, not just not just the team they're supporting. And I gotta ask, are you looking forward to tomorrow night? Tomorrow night. Oh, the Canada game. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> that was awesome. I thought there was something else going on. No, that game will be, that game will be great. Um, right. It was great in Lethbridge in 2012. It was our last game there as well. So, right. um, no, it'll be, it'll be a great. This hasn't been easy, I know. So how satisfying was it, what, was it to get the victory today? Oh, it was very nice to win this game. Uh, we had a good game yesterday against Japan, but they made every shot. So, But still, we felt confident after that game, and uh, now we just have to play this good the rest of the games. Right. Just how, how have you managed to stay positive? I know uh, this hasn't been easy the last few days. <laughs> no. Um, well, of course, it's uh, you need to work really hard to reload and come out of the, the bad feelings that you got after all the losses. But... We try to do a complete restart and think of it as a new competition, so 
that's that's what what we have done. Right. Is there anything that you could put your finger on what was going wrong, or is it just a matter of the wrong shot at the wrong time type of thing? I think a little bit of both. We uh, didn't play that good the second day, so and then we struggled a little bit and didn't get the right feeling about uh, the ice. Uh, as we normally do, so I think that's a little bit of everything. We didn't play, play as good as we had to. And I guess now the focus turns to getting as many wins as possible for 2018, uh, yeah. getting qualifying points. Yeah, the, all the games are important now to win, although we, we lost uh, our, sh our chance for the playoffs a while ago, and so, but it's important to win the rest of the games. Well, congratulations on the victory. The girls really fought hard for that victory. Uh, we have been having pretty hard time in doing the round robin, but he thinks that he's going to do his best with his teams, and also the team is not going to be in the playoff. They they are not going to give up. There is another event in Korea, which is the selection for the national teams for this year, so he's going to pay attention to that event as well. What did you tell the team at the fifth end break? that got them to come back and win that game? Uh, just trying to keep going and to reduce the mistake. And uh, just he let, them, let their team know there was some mistake with the Finland. So he tried to let our teams know and try to step by step. That was an exciting game to win. The girls must be very happy, and you must be very happy. He said that he's really happy with their teams. As you guys know, there is another match with the Canada. Our team is going to make big fun game with, against the Canada.